Some movies are better than the trailer, some are worse. Jules here. Dylan. And a special episode here today. I've had the question for a long time about things that are called barrel picks. You guys, you guys know what a barrel pick is? <laughs> yes. Um, well, hey, look, some of our viewers may not know right, what a barrel right. pick is. Don't laugh. Come on. No, I'm just la <laughs> laughing how you phrase that. Well, you know, phraseology is not my speciality. Um, a barrel pick <laughs> is usually when a restaurant or liquor store gets the opportunity to select a specific barrel of usually a whiskey. I mean, you see them with tequilas too sometimes. That they, uh, you know, they'll, maybe they'll go to the distillery and they'll taste four or five barrels and they say, I want that one. They'll pay for the whole barrel and they'll get it bottled and they'll get to put like a sticker for their bar, restaurant. Yeah, a lot or, of times their own label. Or liquor store. Yeah. And some, yeah, sometimes they'll put like a big label on it. And barrel picks, uh, especially I think in the bourbon community, uh, people go crazy for them. Yeah. And I've always kind of wondered in the back of my head, are they really better? Like, do you really think that that local liquor store can pick a better barrel than a master distiller? Or in the case of, so the, the, the differentiation we should make here is between a, a, a product that is a single barrel. So let's take mm. like Blanton's, right? That's mm -hmm. a single barrel bourbon and you'll see barrel picks. But again, it's, everything's a single barrel. So you're always going to have variation. Those, I think that's interesting, but it's even more interesting when you talk about something that's usually a blend, for instance, Weller, and then you compare that blend to somebody's barrel pick. And that's what we're going to do today. And again, I figured, you know, there's a lot of things we could choose from, but hey, why not do Weller? Weller 107. I'm glad that you picked that. This is the best. I mean, I, this is a treat. Because it you is. know I love Weller 107. You do. I know you do. This is my daily. And if we're going to do this comparison, hey, let's do it with you, the Weller. You have the, the Weeder Frunk shirt on. Here, I love right? it. Yeah. Uh, so Weller 107, for those of you that don't know anything about it, it is a weeded bourbon from Buffalo Trace. It comes in at 107 proof. It is a very well-loved bourbon in the bourbon community. I think a lot of people, though, do agree that it is kind of maybe become overhyped and it's so hard to find and way too expensive that people hoard it people hoard it like Dylan. doesn't that mean it, it actually met the hype yeah but there are also there are barrel picks so what we've got here is we've got a regular release the one i just showed you that's just the standard weller 107 that you're going to find on any store shelf well yeah it's like no store shelves um, but we've got two barrel picks here this one here says it's from uh eureka which i think is a restaurant right uh, but Dylan, you found this one. Yep. Do you remember a price point on, on this? Um, I got it for $45. That's really good. Wow. Um, and I bought like 10 of them. Yeah. Fantastic. And then we got another one here. Equals hoarder. And this one's really special because not only is it a barrel pick, but, but it's a one liter barrel pick. It is one liter, right? <laughs> it looks like It looks like a one liter. Is it 1.75? <laughs> doesn't even, no. doesn't even say. It? Oh, it doesn't say. It doesn't actually say. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's got to say it somewhere. Uh, no, it doesn't even say here anyway, too. So, yeah. Oh, one liter. Consistent. Yeah, it does say on the back. One liter. I don't yeah. know if you can make it out there. It's in the middle of the text. There. Oh, yeah, you're right. 750. Um, minutes, so but, yeah. yeah, one liter. And this one, you can see the barrel pick selection there is from... I almost want to blur it out because I don't think I'm supposed to have this bottle, but... Needless to say, we I had a... Uh, yeah, you should blur it. We may yeah. have to blur yeah, it. Yeah, we'll blur that out. out. But it, I somehow acquired that one. Yikes. And uh, I only have two of them. And this is the first one I've ever opened. So it's it's going to be really interesting. Actually, you guys have had that. Yeah. I know you guys have had it. Yes, yes. we did. And we had a lot of it. But oh, we ended up somehow coming home with a couple bottles of it. That's that's all we're going to say about it. All right. So what, we, what we're going to do here is we're going to put the regular Weller up against... Two different barrel picks. We're going to do them blind, and we're going to determine which one is our favorite. And, and also whether, like, is there going to be a big difference or not? Maybe they're all going to be very subtly different. Maybe it's going to be a big difference. I've never done this. and I Or really, it could be all the same. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. I'm it's really possible. interested. I'm really interested. All right. So we'll be back in a second. Uh, we're going to get these cracked open and poured, and we'll be right back.
we're back. These have uh, been poured and labeled. None of us know which one is in which class. Uh, we've got three different colors here. We've got an orange label, a green label, and a red label. And we've got these three different uh, Weller 107s. Again, a regular production one and then two different barrel picks. Let's get tasting. <laughs> the colors are slightly different. Leading me to believe that there's a little bit of different age in some of these. It's really hard. Um, we've had some time to taste. Uh, do you guys have an answer? Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's, let's talk, talk about, about it. it. Um, okay. Should we go down the line or should we just all say which one we thought was the best? Um, I think we should I think we should just, just go down the line. Each of us kind of talk about... Um, talk about it and then pick which one we like the best? Yeah. Okay. And then, and then see which one do you think is not the barrel pick. Okay. Fair enough. Man, uh, this is really hard. This was really hard for me. I, there are differences. No doubt there are differences, but it's like it's operating in such a tiny bandwidth of difference that it's... Really tight window. Really tight window. Yeah. Um, the biggest things I noticed, I, on the nose, I had a slight preference for the red and the green. Mm. I'd probably pick the red if I had to pick one for the nose. <laughs> me too. Um, on, the, um, on the palette, very similar. I felt like I got a little bit more of the spice on the green, mm -hmm. I got a, a lighter and kind of a, a worse mm -hmm. finish on the orange, and I got a kind of a well-rounded buttery feel to the red. Mm. Wiping wow. my face. That's exactly what Why? I picked. Really? <laughs> I, basically, uh, green and red aroma, mm. orange harshness, Yep. smoother green and red, mm -hmm. and you know, ultimately, I felt like the green had that extra level of flavor. Yeah, I, I was, mm. I, I don't know. I'm, I might slightly lean towards red just because of the mouthfeel. The buttery mouthfeel of the red was the one that I think I preferred overall. If I had to pick which one is the original, I kind of think it's the green. Wow. I kind of mm. think it's the green. Okay. So for me, I actually but, think. But just to be clear, my favorite, I think, if I had to pick a favorite, I think I'd pick the red. I'm wow. Sure. Okay, so actually, to backtrack to that, yeah. I mean, out of the three, the red is my favorite. Hmm. That okay. said, green, going through it all, I felt like I got an extra punch on there compared to, to yeah. the other two. It had more red spice. Was, had yeah, more spice, and red was the, the most well-rounded, I thought. But, <laughs> so again, that said, I think orange is actually the original, and yeah. I think yeah. red and green are the selects. And specifically, I think the red is the leader. Mm -hmm. the, big, the big one, the big okay. one. So wow. you you think you think you can notice a difference though? It's very subtle. It's, it's very, very subtle. subtle. subtle right? I, I mean, mean, like I, I don't think that the orange one was bad. Out of the yeah. out of the three, green was the one that stood out the most. Yeah, I, compared to the other two. But I, you know. I think if if I had company yeah. and I opened this up, I think everyone will recognize the Weller One Hundred Seven flavor profile. Oh yeah. oh yeah. But I don't think they would be going like, oh man, there is definitely a difference between this and a <laughs> oh, no, regular. No. Yeah. You have to know your. You'd have I mean, to be. Yeah. You'd have to sit there, not even talk about anything else. You'd have to focus. Not really even hard. do anything else. Exactly. Like, nothing that can interrupt the palate. Yeah. So I just want to reiterate, like for me, orange was. Uh, there's a little bit of the harshness that I I thought it was still good. I'm nitpicking here, but I think there was a little bit more harshness than the compared to the other two. I thought the aroma in the green and the red were a little bit a, a step above mm. and then i felt that these were also slightly smoother meaning that the finish was a little bit um more palatable mm -hmm. but ultimately i picked the green because mm. i like bold punchy flavors <laughs> and so that you know i went back and forth i will say but i ended up with green as my favorite um, I will agree with you. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that the orange is the just the regular. The regular? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's just let's, re let's recap real quickly. 
Um, let's make sure we get our favorites down. So, Dylan, your favorite? Green. Green. Jules? Red. And me, also red, my favorite. Um, the one that you think is the original non-barrel pick Weller. Dylan? Orange. Orange. Okay. Jules? Same, orange. Orange. All right. And I think I'm leaning slightly towards the green. Mm. Mainly because I, I got that cinnamon. And I always remember mm. getting a little bit of cinnamon with, with regular Weller. And water. But whatever. Hey, this was really hard. Uh, regardless, really this, was, this was fun, fun though. This was yeah. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, I got the results here. Uh -oh. I can't wait to look at them. I'm <laughs> a little bit nervous. Guy. Here we go. Uh, but I feel like we're all winners because we got to drink a bunch of different Weller 107s. <laughs> yes. Good 107s. I love all it. All right. So, the red label, uh -oh. my favorite and your favorite, yeah. is the that pick, the secret pick. Whoa! Wow. All right! Yeah. This is kind of what nice. I was thinking. Yeah. Nice. There we go. Nice. Um, the uh, the wow. green. Yeah, what was the green? Is store pick original? No way! Dutch wow. got it right, baby. No wow. way! So I guess I don't need to go for uh, store Selects. picks. Yeah. Wow. Do you guys yep. want my store? Well picks? done, Dutch. Green is the original. Dutch always and, wins uh, these that things. means that the orange is the other barrel pick. Wow. Uh, wow. Um. Wow. Mind blown. You know you know what's amazing Dude, about good that call, though? Man. That means that good you call. could get the regular and you still get the amazing flavors. Well that that just says to me like, yeah, I slightly preferred that, but it was a toss up kind of here. I yeah. mean like I really this the regular totally awesome. But totally again, awesome. the variances on these were really small. Yeah, oh, yeah. really very, subtle. We really had a subtle. Pick on very this, subtle. You know? Very subtle. I mean, the thing I think that kind of is in the back of my mind is... Dude, good call. We had yeah. a big party and we drank a lot of that one. Yeah. And I think maybe that there's something unconscious in all of us, or at least in you and me, yeah. kind of like remembering that. Because I know I passed out with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Ah, awesome. Wow. Um, so I think we can summarize by saying barrel picks... None of these barrel picks were significantly better than the regular expression. Right. Uh, we want to do this again. We're going to do this with some other products, even some single barrel products, and see if, like the, Plus just, it. yeah, that's going to be one of them. Whether the you know the master distiller picks better barrels, or if uh, liquor stores and restaurants pick better barrels. But if you have any suggestions, let us know, and we'll try to get our hands on them and do those in the future. Jules. Hey, give us a, a thumbs up if you like this episode. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public, and as always, stay curious. Really good. There's just something. This this mouthfeel of the red was the, was what did it for me. Flavors were all almost the same. That was the only thing that slightly elevated it was the mouthfeel. It's so subtle. Yeah, it's subtle, but I still pick the green. Really? The green's good, man. Yeah, the green is good. And the great thing was these were all brand new bottles. Like there was no time mm -hmm. to expose them to air. They were just straight out of the bottle. I want to try my blend though. Wow, you know the greens. <sighs> Actually, you know it just has that. I'm gonna take the red. I'm gonna add a little bit of spice. Mmm, something nice. And a tiny bit less of, yeah, the, uh, of, the, exactly. of, the, of the other one there. And I think I'm going to have a that really needs, nice, very blend, nice blend. How long do you think that needs to, to perfectly blend? I think it's ready. You think it's ready? Yeah. Oh, it's glorious. Mm, I just see why pee <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm I'm doing a super mix. Yeah, look at Dylan. Super mix. You just you just poured them all in. I just poured everything in here. Dude, this is this is a good mix. It, it's it's about equal volume. So let me make you my mix. I do like your. I'm, I'm sure your portioning out is on point. This is a, this is a great mix. Oh, this, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Dude, the custom mix, man. I'm just gonna walk around like this. Custom blend. Look your light <laughs> Look at up. that, folks. Oh, dude, this is so good. This mix. That's a hefty pour.